I'm one of the few people who actually cares about the plot to a fighting game, which is very, very stupid because all fighting games have stupid plots. It's within their nature to simply be ridiculous. But what is, without a doubt, the most ridiculous thing I've seen lately is bringing back Heihachi Mishima. After the sacrifice Heihachi made in Tekken 7, when his whole story about his wife and his hatred for the devil gene and everything that it's that it has created and has done and how it's torn his family apart, he set out to, like, he had to kill his wife, he set out to destroy Kazuya, but was defeated in the end. And then it led on to Tekken 8, the story we have now, and the ending of Tekken 8 set up Reyna to be a very good next boss. But they couldn't ha they, 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 they couldn't hand off the cake to someone else. They had to steal another cake. They had to revive the old cake by bringing back Heihachi. And not just as just a random DLC. If he was just a DLC character like i like which he is i get that but no they made a story a story related episode involving him eddie and either lydia or libya i forgot which one her name is regardless they've brought back heihachi as in like you know when he fell into the lava he didn't die because of that <laughs> he survived that somehow and I understand Heihachi and Kazuya have survived way more absurd bullshit. Like, they, they have each thrown each other into down cliffs, into volcanoes before. The only reason Kazuya survived being thrown into, I believe, an active volcano in Tekken 2, at the ending of Tekken 2, was because A, the Devil Gene, and B, G Corporation. I believe they that helped bring him back. So, how are they going to explain Heihachi being brought back? I don't know. It better be good. It better be at least semi-plausible for the universe of Tekken. Because Tekken is a fairly predictable franchise in many ways. Because I remember seeing a meme going around of like... Uh, uh, Kazuya and Jin fight, and then Jin turns into Angel Jin and says, I'm going to spare you, and then doesn't kill Kazuya, and uh, Jin lives a happily ever, ever after. And everyone thought, haha, that was funny. But that was actually what happened. <laughs> he turned into Angel Jin, which was stupid, but it was also fun. And now, I don't know. I, I don't know how to feel about Hayashi, but... All I do know is, is I'm here for the story. And here we are. Yes, I set Reina and Secluded Training Ground as my main menu. Uh, big fan of both. Gets me pumped. It gets me hyped. And we have episode Unforgotten Echoes. So the fact that this is also just called episode unforgotten echoes so there could be more episodes you never know there could actually be more episodes of like more sequels to tech and eight like in regards to the story but for now i'm going into this blind i have no idea what's going to happen uh, and well I'll actually tell a lie i saw one thing on twitter of like Heihachi and Rain are battling, and I think Heihachi said something like, you need to unlock your... This is not enough to unlock your Devil Gene or something like that. And that made me think, like, wait, didn't you hate the Devil Gene? Isn't that why you killed your wife? So is Heihachi using Reina? Or is Reina using Heihachi? Or is, does, has he backflipped and now he doesn't give a shit? He just hates Kazuya? I don't know. I hope all will be revealed, because that reveal at the ending of the game with Reina being his daughter... I want to see how all that fits in and works. In this mode, a great deal of information surrounding the Mishima bloodline and the Devil Gene will be revealed. 
as this story mode contains well, as this mode contains many important secrets linked to the dark awakened story it is strongly recommended that you complete the main story first play on forgotten echoes okay you know way to just go out uh, out me and say <laughs> everything i was curious about it says it's going to answer okay sure let's get into it i am very curious oh i'm gonna go hard i i i do suck at competitive tekken but i'm gonna go hard just to start with i might drop it a medium depending Oh, we got chapters. Oh, look at that. Eddie and Yoshimitsu. Oh. Look at... Hold on a second. This is different. Wait, others? And then... But it has... Yeah, yeah. It has all of the Dark Awakens. But then why does it have seven, six, and five? Maybe it's just going through the story? Like the, the plot? I don't know. I want to try and get to that menu. Others. King of Iron. Oh, there it is. Oh, seven. Oh, it literally has the entire story. Oh. Mishima Clan, King of Iron Fist Tournament. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Lovely. So yeah. Okay. Hey, Hachi. Kazuya bested Hey Hachi and killed him. Are you sure about that? I. You're wrong. Um, okay, cool. Unforgotten Echoes, Chapter 1, Flash and Lightning. Color me very curious. I'm hoping this at least makes sense. Because if it doesn't make sense, and if it's just retcon after retcon, I will be slightly annoyed. I do feel like they have retcon in many things. Like Jinpachi not having the devil gene, I feel like that was a wreck on. Oh! Is anyone head-to-head -head with Kazuya? Yo, you got your ass beat, boy. Ooh. Okay. Yep, Yoshimitsu and the Rebellion, I guess. Classic second. Everyone understands each other, even the demon robot. The Rebel Army's flying boat is inbound. Thank you, English guy. Oh, are we not part of the Rebel Army? Lydia. I owe her my life. Time remaining until Operation Lightning two months. Ooh. Second four soldiers with conscience to stop G Corp. So this is the second force now. Right. A fight against Lars. I'm not good with Eddie. Okay. So from what I understand, uh, right. So two months before Operation Lightning, that's the operation to, like, when they fought G Corp and like, all that shit happened with the motorbikes. Um, interesting, and so this is a way to bring Eddie and Lydia into the fold, but also the Tekken Force, because I was going to say, I thought the Rebel Army was just the remnants of the Tekken Force, but apparently not. Nice. Yeah, also, like, I haven't really played since the DLC started being released, so I haven't used Eddie or Lydia. Nice, okay. One... G1. Oh, shit. I'm so sorry. He's knocking into the mic. My god, I'm not good at this. Why he thought so highly? Yeah, because, Eddie, you were Jin's... One of Jin's right hands, weren't you? Oh, god. Alright. Nope. Nope. Fucking hell. Lars has picked up this game. Nope. 
How about, oh, fuck you. How about that? Yeah. And a cool head. Says me. Who's bad at doing that. I know Eddie was like the king of spamming the fucking shit out of him. What's that? Why? Number one? What does that mean? Do I have a special ability? I think I've more than proved my resolve. Here's my Kabawara dancing. Yeah. To show you how cool I am at the very end. Eddie is very cool. Eddie is a good character. I beat his ass and he's completely fine. Also, Just finish the negotiations and you're right on to the next mission. You don't waste time. Ainda precisamos de mais aliados, se quisermos vencer. Suka. Is someone you should meet? Jin! No. What? He's... Jin Kazama. Oh, hey! I was right. He's back on his feet. Hey, Eddie. Uh, remember how... Uh, Jin, remember how you led me into battle? It's been a while, Eddie. Okay, good. Oh, that's right. I do Tekken Force's dirty working out. I still couldn't save him. Oh. At least he does feel some remorse for that, because he didn't really show much remorse at the time. Yeah, there it is. Hey, Christy got a little look in as well. I have a little friendly battle, why not? Also, I'm shuffling around because I've got a thing behind me to keep my back straight. And I just adjust it every so often as well. I'm moving around a lot. Doesn't matter, no one cares. Alright. So, this must be in, during the period... I remember that. No, you couldn't. Oh, wait, no. He has his power. Hold on. I thought this was during the period where he didn't. Oh, no, no, it's before Operation. Operation Lightning was the start of the game. My bad. Operation Lightning was the very start of the game where he got his ass handed to him by Kazuya, I think. So, yeah, him still having control of his devil powers makes sense. Okay. I was just dumb. What happened was the result of the choices I made. It's not your fault. No, no. Okay, I guess you did choose to fight for Jin. You've changed. You have sick dreads. Let me apologize. Angel Jin. <laughs> Yeah, see, the ridiculousness of the plot of Tekken, you can start World War Three and be forgiven. But I still like Jin, doesn't matter. There you go. It's friends! You got friend in me! I can't sing for shit! I'm so sorry, Polish Air Force. <laughs> Lydia Sobolska. A warning signal. Oh. I'm glad they gave Yoshimitsu some sort of plot relevance as well. He's actually a he's a part of the thing. He's doing the thing. He's part of it. Good on him. So Lydia, yeah, she's the Polish president. President there. Chapter two, redemption. Oh Jesus. Any last words? Jacob. So okay. This might be the same Mi Mishima Sabatsu location as the start of Tekken 7, maybe? Hey! Is this a reference to Eddie's old theme? It might have been. 
silêncio no que das deu. Isso é história para outra hora. Saiam e deixem o resto comigo. Nossa. Eu vou fazer a chupota se a defender. Fight. Yeah, I, have a, I definitely have a feeling this is a uh, reference to his old thing. I didn't mean to use that early, but it's fine. Boss rush. Not boss rush at all, it's uh, shitty forces rush. The G-Force have the most, like... Generic bad guy armor set you've ever seen in your life. Man, I love, I'm so happy they attack one at a time. Oops. I got hit with a gun. Oh, are you alive, Eddie Gordo? You got shot with a gun! So, just three men? I thought this was on hard difficulty. Does not feel like it. <laughs> what? Oh God, Jack Sevens. Not even the latest model. You cheap fucks. There we go. There's gonna be more. I love how like G Corp, like the only one Jack Eight was made. I think that's the story. And so they're like, all right, we'll just use the pink mohawk variant, like for our massive wall, because that's just funny. There we go. Losers. Do my cool dance. That takes care of everything. You had to do the cool dance. Always do the cool dance. You ever beat someone up? Beat the shit out of them? Do the cool dance. How dare you nearly shoot my pinky toe, Nina? Going somewhere? Yes. Eddie Gordo. Nina? <laughs> yeah, you switch allegiances more than the fucking big show in WWE, mate. So the two head honchos of, yeah, there it is. The two head honchos of Jin's Tekken 6 World War 3 bloody war uh, are now having a little bit of a scrap. Why not? Because Nina cannot keep the same allegiance for more than five minutes. Oh God. Despite that, she literally just destroyed all of my organs. Nina is good. I enjoy Nina, but yeah, her, her constant allegiance switching is so funny. Oh god. Don't step on my shin! I need that. Nice, nice, nice. Round two, Nina. Round two, huh? You're a different man from the one that followed orders against his will. Oh. Probably found my ideal workplace. Poland. <laughs> Apparently. Thank you. I've never been complimented so much by Nina women before. Oh god, stop it, stop it. Ah, I got rid of you. Take that, sucker! Oh no. I have my, I have my one. What is the one do? I never found out. Help me. Will I survive without the, using the one? Very epic. No, not very epic. Aha, get wrecked, I did my own. Ha <laughs> Drop kick. No, no, stop, stop. No, stop, stop, stop. There we go. Hey. See, that's okay. Good, 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 good. 
Servinator, I won, but you see, you still had your glasses on. How are you okay? You know me so well. Cause you're paying well. I got the data I needed. No need to take this further. What data? See you later. Bye. I don't know how you fought that long with your glasses on the whole time. What data and um. Something about getting paid. I don't know. The the squad, they're all tired as fuck. Pessoal, atenção. Os crimes que cometemos jamais vão desaparecer. Mas não importam os desafios do caminho. As pessoas sempre se recuperam. Espero que todos me acompanhem nessa jornada. Para ajudar aqueles que precisam. The boys. And then they get bombed. Who is this? Oh, Eddie. I forgot I had a oh, special Oh, maybe I was right. Hope you like it. Thanks, Nina. Okay. I was not even lying. Hey, Eddie. What are you gonna do, buddy? Oh, God. Jesus Christ! But wearing his way out the fire. <laughs> what a lad. <laughs> Cap wearing. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna fucking do a couple spins. Oh, that's so cool. That's so fucking stupid. So funny. I think they call my Iron Man database. The, okay, the Tekken monks. I really want to. I really. Mm, I was tempted to pause and read all that. Oh well. I will another time. Be the Tekken monks. I remember seeing those in Heihachi's trailer. So I am very curious what the Tekken monks are because. Unexpected encounters. Polish Prime Minister Lydia Soboska. Oh! They freed the city after Kazia. Okay, very cool. Lidio, nie pozwól by śmierć twojego ojca poszła na marne. Ból odczuwany w lewym oku to ból twojego narodu. Nie możesz paść na kolana przed niesprawiedliwą władzą. Hey. So they saved New York, but obviously he still ran the King of Iron Fist tournament. Tournament. Lydia, naquele dia em que eu estava pronto para morrer, suas palavras. What is this day you're talking about? Did we get a scene at that? That's, yeah, it's the third time we've heard that message. See, they're wearing white now. They're good guys. We're reaching the rendezvous point with the target. Man, the, the random English voice actors they get are all terrible. <laughs> I'll be fully, fully honest. 
Time remaining until Asian B block preliminaries. Three days. Okay, so this is midway through the tournament. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Mishima Sabatsu. Directly to me, Hayachi Mishima. To musi oznaczać, że jesteś. Zasigatsuita Yoda. Yahari, Yatra mo kiteiru. Chorui. Kisama no chikara. Koko de shimeshite mora! Interesting. So, Reina helped them for some reason. Probably because she doesn't like Kazuya, I imagine. But even still. Okay. It's so good to see you, Reina. You are still my favorite character in the game. Why must we fight? Well. She's a crazy woman. Oh god. Oh no, go there. Nice. I do vaguely remember Lydia from Seven, so I'm I'm sent more, a bit more familiar at the moment. But that was good. That was good. Okay. What is this deal? <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ, Tech and Monks. God, the warrior we Tech and Monks have been seeking. So, Reyna, did she figure this all out by staying with the Tech and Monks? Maybe she was raised by the Tech and Monks all this time. I love hallucinogenic drugs. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yep. Rolled out. Bring it. All right. We require a peerless warrior for our cause. Your cause, eh? And Reina's not good enough? The literal daughter of Heihachi? You have achieved unity of mind. Oh, okay. I guess Lydia is meant to be like the embodiment of pure like balance. She is like really really powerful in the DLC in 7 and like they gave they put a lot of a stock in her backstory so, so I mean she she okay sound of body sound of mind so she's the best president in the world they just love Poland tireless practice correct Yeah, it's very good. It's very good, but I've actually kind of losing. If, if there's more after this, I might be in trouble. The body is honed to perfection. Thanks. I would not say that to anybody as a compliment. <laughs> yeah, mind, body, and technique. Yeah, she's like very powerful. Come find us. Fuck you, stop being cryptic. Oh no, this is gonna look weird on camera. Here we go, alright. 
chiropractically adjusted my own neck. I was told not to do that, but I have been. Take amongst a secret organization that even the Mishima Zaibatsu doesn't have re good reason for them to not exist in the past. They see the Mishimas as a threat. No, they used to see the Mishimas as a threat. They had the nerve to disrupt every attempt to look for Heihachi. Okay. So they never used to work with the Mishima Sabatsu. You mean from make contact and cover down. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Interesting. So the Tekken monks never used to work with the Mishima Zabatsu. And for some reason now, they're fully behind Heihachi. Maybe it was something Jinpachi made. Don't know. Uh, chapter 4, Tekken Monks, I think that, that was called. So we got Yoshimitsu, Lydia, and Eddie. She's in her gi. Second High Priest Sairu. Sairu. I'll say Sairu. A new character. I'm down. The test of your iron fist. The test of Tekken. What's your moves that gonna be like? Fight. Some little Heihachis? Yeah. I'm, I'm glad they at least have some sort of boss, well, new character that wasn't Heihachi. Seiru? Fair enough. Softness triumphs over hardness. Okay. Why not? I'll do that. Good luck. Ooh. Oh, 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 damn, damn, boy. Get her down a little bit. Oh, please press. Don't heal, don't heal. Good. Nope. Do it again. That's all right. That works. Uh, round two, maybe? Give me a hand, boy. I win. Give me a hand. I'm gonna keep adjusting my thing because the thing keeps sliding down one side. It's annoying. It, oh man, I have back problems. <laughs> Never mind me. Never mind my back problems. I keep adjusting everything as well. I look like a freaking dingus. All right, we win. Are you gonna? Sh or if you could subdue Zero in combat. How does your mind fare? I want. High Priest Suzaku? Su 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 it wasn't Suzaku, it was Zuaku. Uh, using the powers justly, that's what she believes in. Unjust power cannot hope to prove the righteousness. Oh, that's cool.
Fight Ghost Kazia. Mojego kraju oraz mojego honoru przysięgam, że nie ustąpię niesprawiedliwości. Fight Shadow Kazia. Classic. Oh god, okay, he's actually a bit of a challenge. Good. Oh. Oh god. The, uh, the, an apparition of. Yes, well done. Oh, Jesus Christ. Nice, 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 very nice, very nice! Oh god. Get him. Yeah, don't you try to back up from me, sonny! Oh! Oh, Jesus Christ. No, I will not sink into the pit of despair. I refuse! I'm the Prime Minister! I refuse! Come on, Lydia. Yes. I am resolved. What is that? What is the three? What does this mean? Help me, game! I do not understand. Oh god. Stop rolling forwards. I get that now. What the hell? What is going on? I'm just sort of hit buttons and shit's just kind of happening. I still don't know how to use the three. Oh god. Is that it? That little zoom forward? I'm getting light beam shows, and I don't know why. Oh. For the future of our world. Yeah. Okay. Eddie and Lydia. Ooh, this is sick. Nice. I still don't know what those things mean. Thank you. Perfect equilibrium. To do what? What are we doing? Is it the main man himself? Oh my god. Oh god damn. Back from the dead, is he? Oh, wait, hold on. That didn't look like Heihachi. That wasn't Heihachi. Who was that? Oh. Okay, color me intrigued. I still have no idea what's happening. Lydia's been chosen for something that only the Tekken monks believe she can... Like, she's been chosen exclusively by the Tekken monks. Chapter 5, Memories Once many, many Lost. centuries ago. The Mishima style. A fighting style used to exterminate demons was the source of conflict between two clans that were fighting each other to become the legitimate successor after facing defeat, the one clan devoted itself to the Buddhist teachings and withdrew from the world. Okay. That clan was known as the Tekken Monks. As decades turned into centuries, they continued their pursuit of martial arts in seclusion. The Tekken Monks have but one vow. To master the ultimate technique, lost to time, and restore the Mishima style to its former purity. Oh, I think it was Heihachi, actually. His hair is just down, that's what got me. Okay. Some cool additional, uh, yeah, backstory. This is definitely Heihachi. 
So after his defeat, he sought out the Tekken monks. Is that what I'm to understand? After his death. Mount Teko Gen Genmaji Temple. That mask definitely represents Kazumi. I am in full belief of that. Hello. He should be dead. Since you saved my life. Half a year since you saved my life. Okay, so... That's it? Wasn't Kazuya watching the whole time? He didn't see that? Really? I literally... <laughs> I literally remember a tweet. Of like um, of that clip, and Kazia says that is the it's the quote of like, uh, fighting is about who comes out the last one standing. There is nothing else. Something like that. He was watching the whole time, as fucking if he didn't see someone swoop in and grab him before he hit the lava. But if that's what they're going with. He never made contact with the lava, and this fella saved him. <sighs> okay. And because the tech and monks are meant to be, I'm assuming, meant to be good guys, just because of the nature. Maybe he'll be good? I don't... There's still a lot to see. Let's continue. So there's some sort of trial he's doing as well. Even at age 78, he's not afraid to be a humble uh, student. God. Uh, he was never good at using Heiachi. This is going to suck for me. I'm much more adept with like the quicker rush characters, not the big beefy boys. I suck with these fellas. God, I don't remember any I don't know how to do anything with him. I remember that much. Oh god, headbutt. Okay, that works. God, my display with Heihachi is fucking atrocious. Is that your is that your electric god fist now? That looks so weird. I know he has a new voice as well. Ha! Loser. Is it his old self trying to be like, Oi, you should fucking kill people. And then he, as a monk, is like, no, I shouldn't. Fight. Interesting. He okay, fuck, man, this is so bizarre. I don't know how I feel about any of this, man. But I love that the, okay, the Mishima-style martial art. So that was... 
He learnt it from Jinpachi in Jinpachi's dojo. So long before the dojo, there was the two clans that fought for supremacy and the Zaibatsu one. So the Tekken monks went into hiding. That's their lore that they've created for this. And now Heihachi was saved by one of them. I'm assuming he was saved after he was willing to sacrifice everything to, like, save the world from his de evil demon, de 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 devil son. Ooh, I didn't hit it. Yeah, I'm assuming that's... Oh, I'm about to die, actually. Yeah, I'm assuming that's the reason why they saved him, but... We'll see. Thank God, I thought I was about to lose there. But we're okay. An outsider. Yoshi! Didn't you have beef with Heihachi? At one point in time? So they're aware of Heihachi's return. And Heihachi is being a bit more of a nice guy, but he's got that voice in the back of his head. The mind is wavering. The Heihachi Mishima of the past is no longer. Well, that's a lie, because he's still in the back of his head. Losing his memories, Heihachi spent days... Losing his memories? Well, he had a heart... He, his heart stopped. So, okay. He's some... He's chill as fuck now because he lost his memories. But as soon as... Like, either Rainer or, like, his past catches up with him, he's gonna be like, Oh, yeah, I remember. I was a dick. And I was good briefly. What's going on, Heihachi? When's the heel turn, brother? You also turn heel and face just as much as... No, wait. Did I say about that before? I don't remember. I think it was Heihachi. Doesn't matter. Chapter 6. Evil Within. Heihachi. Uh, Star Crusher Trial One Day. The long lost ultimate technique. Only Mishima Star Warriors who are pure of heart may undergo this trial. But he's good evil within! Will it last? You must overcome your evil within. Forbidden technique. Oh god, okay. They're gonna make him fight his old self? Yeah. So he won't embrace the darkness with it. He's gonna, they're gonna try and help him get rid of it. Okay. Where's old Heihachi? Where is he? Saying that even in Tekken 7 he was still like evil? But that was probably the best he's ever been because he tried to stop Kazuya. I'm not sure. I, that's what that's what I interpreted it as, but maybe maybe I missed something. Whatever. Well look, I don't think he meant to. He apparently had amnesia. 
Haha, <laughs> we get owned. I remember that was a So, is Heihachi just going to be a good guy after this? I'm curious where Reina gets involved then. I wonder if Shadow Heihachi is going to be like, Psych, you have a daughter, loser. God, I'm losing my mind and the fight. Oh no. Cool. No, I'm losing. I lost. Damn it. My first L of the game. That's fine. Of course, it would be prompt to lose to Heihachi. Wicked li Liars of Wicked Spirits. Oh, I mean, it's you, technically. The new voice is alright, it's just I haven't gotten used to it yet. And, like, I, I do not mean to sound disrespectful at all, but I thought with the voice of Heihachi passing, or at least the second, I believe it was the second voice passing, like, it was kind of just a fitting like, thing that Heihachi wasn't going to be bad. God. I'm the king of Iron Fist. So that's his... Oh, God. Wait a minute. That was meant to happen? Yes, old man. Alright, round two. Yeah, so... I forgot what I was saying. Doesn't matter. Come on. Man, I fucking suck with this guy. I suck with the big man himself. Yeah, bitch. I know about that. Jesus Christ. Oh, the new... Yeah, yeah. Um, with the old voice part, like, passing, and Heihachi passing, I thought that's a fitting send. That is, like, he won't have a voice because he's not there anymore. But then they brought him back, so they had to give him a new voice, obviously. Can't let go to work. So, okay, so Heihachi, are you determined to be a good boy now? That disappeared a little bit differently compared to Lydia and Shadow Kazia. Interesting. You have attained a mind of a true warrior, but I'm still sus. Always be sus and token. So the Mishima started with its former purity. Pure Mishima. Yeah, I'm... Star Crusher Trial, the day of the trial, okay. I'm just so curious about how Reyna gets involved and how he meets her. Because I thought just everything would have been perfect if she was the next villain, but... I'm, I'm, I'm curious. I'm curious how this works. Mirren. Okay. Is the Star Crusher trial literally just? Here, fight someone we think is a worthy contender, a challenger for you. And they just found Lydia. Is that it? Because if that's the trial, I'll be very disappointed. 
I thought it'd be like climb a mountain and fight several idiots along the way. They all believe in Lydia, so it'd be funny if she just beats him. That'd also be hilarious. True. Whoa. Okay. With each move, Heihachi's mind, body, and technique are coming into unity. Calling upon her assistance was indeed the right choice. Oh. It'd be funny if oh, like, all that happened and then I just like missed all my combos. Mind clear of distractions. Cool. Oh god, okay, fair enough. She finished her hair's attack, but he is truly really, Yeah, she is very good. Like one of the best new characters they have introduced. <laughs> I've noticed how I've started resorting to the same combos because I suck at AIG. Sorry, this is probably not great content if you love Heihachi Michima because I've been real skeptical of everything Heihachi this entire video so far. Ever since they announced he was coming back, I've been very skeptical. True of heart, then I shall show you my results. White! White mist! There it is! He's pure, or something. Then Rena comes back and corrupts him. I don't know how she was. His mask is nearly flawless. Nearly flawless. Oh Jesus Christ! Shut up! Shut up, Zeru. I'm reading your stuff and I'm getting my ass beat. The day we can fulfill our vow is upon us. hit you with the Batista bomb. That's not the Batista bomb. The Batista... The Batista BOMB! Nice. I thought I wanted that to be the killer, but I was wrong. Oh, no. Okay. Ha keep fighting, then. Off screen. How long will you fight for? Seven hours later. Oh, maybe. Was it seven hours? No? Did you win? What happened? She changed. Uh, okay, that wasn't the trial. You must smash a meteorite that falls only once every 200 years. Sweet. Notice the one black bead around his neck. He's still evil. He's still evil. Would you join us in our fight against Kazuya? Mm -hmm. We shall have a means to fight against the devil gene. Hey, remember your wife? Remember your wife? You're wearing the tiger. I know you got amnesia, but you still remember your wife. I will put that. This straight and narrow. I mean, Jesus Christ! This. Okay, they do they do climb a mountain. Good. That's all I wanted. <laughs> Angel G. <laughs> So he's, is he seeing everything that happens? Is that how the meteorite falls? Oh god, it is. Hey, uh, God's son and grandson are up there. And he's like, 
In a piece, motherfuckers. In a piece. Oh, gee? Nice. Oh, he's gonna beat the shit out of that meteorite. Wow. Nothing surprises me anymore. Hey, Archie is just that fucking buff. <laughs> Yeah, remember how you died, idiot? <laughs> oh, fucking hell. I was gonna say, you know how you can tell he's good guy now? It's because his hair isn't spiked up. Yeah, you won. So, Jin and Kazuya lost the Devil G. His hair got spiked up for the meteorite! No, don't tell me he remem- Wait a minute, no, wait, no, 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 don't tell me he rem- Did I just hear a voice? Wait a minute, don't tell me. No. Why? Is it because they lost the devil gene? Why has he done this? Oh no, what's going on? Fuck. The King of Iron Fist returns. I thought it already did. God. What? Hey, Yoshimitsu, you have done nothing so far. Do something, buddy. Is this Heihachi... Evil Hey Hachi? So yeah, for some reason, headbutting a meteorite has made him evil again. That didn't last long. Chill Heiachi was pretty cool, but... <laughs> I got a brain damage and everything came back to me! See ya. So now he's gained a new technique. Oh god, he's glowing. Hey Yoshi. Good nice knowing you, bud. What is that? The I the the Tekken Monk logo. How do I use it? At least Yoshi gets to do something. He gets to get his ass beaten. Oh, well done, Yoshi. Actually, repaying the, their kindness. Yeah, yeah, I know, right? I mean, let's just say Hachi Mishima. Yeah. Jesus Christ, what am I doing with him? Oh, look at his mid glowing. So wait, does he actually have power now? Heaven's judgment. Okay. You wield a demon sword, Yoshi. Don't pretend you're going to do anything with that. Oh, damn. Jeez. Oh, Jesus. I regained my health back somehow. Fucking hell. How do I use this? Hold on. I'm actually... Hold on. Move list. What is the glowing thing? And how do I use it? It's all techniques. No? 
the special glowy thing. How? With warrior instinct? What is that? What is warrior instinct? Heat me. Oh, God. What is warrior instinct? How do I do it? Shit. I don't know. I'll try some, I'll try some things. Oh, uh, is, okay, I think Warrior Instinct is just the, the glowy thing. And so it's just on. I think that's what it means. It's just on. But how do I get it in normal combat? Do I have to build up to it like the others? Maybe. That's why his fucking chest is glowing, because he's a sick cunt. Invincible now with the Mishima style ultimate technique. So he has gone even further beyond. That's what I've heard. See ya, Yoshimitsu. No snow on your bud. Eddie? Yeah, you have to pray before you say that. He's got one. God, I'm so buff. Oh, Jesus Christ, that was cool. Yeah, look, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just here for the ride, buddy. I do remember that being a thing during his boss battle. Like, during during one of the fights at the end of Tekken 7, he could punch the ground, make lightning shoot everywhere. That was pretty sick. I am getting past you, Betty. That's just the plot. My head's itchy. Oh no. Oh god. I hate being itchy during a fighting game. I'm getting my ass beat by Eddie Gordo because I itched my head. Nice. I love how fucking Warrior Instinct made his hair spiky again. Just after I mentioned his hair being down means he's a good boy. <laughs> oh shit. That might kill me, actually. Hopefully it doesn't. I never saw this. I'm oh, sorry for hitting the mic again. I'm so sorry. I'm bad at this. I'm not a good YouTuber, guys. Don't watch this. Anyway. Uh, he's got two now. What does it mean? Maracas? What? Oh, no. Eddie's, Eddie is a challenge. Eddie beat me. The dancing was too strong. Oh, my head's itchy. Ah, help me. I'm sucking at video games. What is new? Honestly, what is new? Nothing. I just suck at video games in general. That's just the part, the fact of life I have to deal with. I suck at video games. All right, at least let's restart with just Eddie. Do as much damage as you can while you have Ultra Instinct or something. Eat my head. Yeah, literally, that's the whole point. Just do as much damage as you can with all this fucking power. Don't heal. Don't you fucking heal. How dare you heal? You heal! Damn right. You tell him, boss. No, don't do it again. No, don't. Don't say that. That's, don't say that to me. Yeah, good. Suffer. Round two with Eddie. Yeah, you are. Just honestly. Oh, Yoshimitsu didn't last one round. What is his inclusion here for? Just another body to beat up. But I guess fans were like, what was Yoshimitsu during this? He was trying to help, and he was basically useless. Come on, Eddie. Jesus Christ. Uh, do something useful. Fuck, he's so slow, Eddie. Uh, no, um, hey, Archie. Nice 
punch. Yep, I'm just gonna... Yep. Take some of that, bastard. Round three. Oh, got him. Oh, Christ! Try again. Yeah, <laughs> loser. Oh my god. Lydia, step up. Oh, definitely. I was revived because people thought I could be a good guy. They were wrong. He's got three. She's got three. Right. Come on. Come on, do as much damage as you fucking can. No, 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 no. Damn it. It's fine. I can make this work. I can leave with this. God. Yeah, look, he's destroyed everything. He's killed all the monks. How dare you try to live under like Buddhism? I'm just gonna end your whole, whole existence. Well done, Lydia. That was sick. Yeah, you are the true Tekken warrior, Lydia. You know what? You are. And then Heihachi says, Hey, fuck you. I invented the king of Iron Fist. <laughs> okay, pop off. The only path I have chosen and no one has got me. Be a dick, just because. Dude, is Heihachi has always been a bad guy just for the hell of it. And even like his... The things he was doing to try and be good were all just bullshit in the end. Like, yeah, fuck the devil gene. But I want to be better? Like... What is, does, does he just want world domination like everyone else? Like, I, I feel like, okay, now that he's back, I feel like the plot is going to be like, since he garnered Jin, like, raised Jin, and then discovered the devil gene and tried to kill him, realized he couldn't do it. I feel like he's not going to try and make that mistake with Reyna. Maybe he'll betray Reyna at some point. Oh, stop blocking, Lydia. This is pissing me off. Um, yeah. Oh no. Um, so yeah, maybe he's gonna help Rainer because he, he knows he can't do anything now. But he's got- wait, no, now he's got this ultimate technique that is apparently capable of destroying the devil gene. I need to stop thinking because I'm losing. Oh yeah. Come on. No, no, no. Stop healing! <sighs> Damn it, she's good. Fuck. Okay, at least we're back to- we're still back to this round though, that's okay. Alright. Stop sucking, Trent. Do better. I fell for it again. Good, she is so good. <laughs> Fuck. Come on. Batista, but oh. good shit, good shit. Figure out a good time to actually use that. 
Break his... No. Jesus. Stop healing! Fuck! Damn it, Lydia, you're too good. See what happens when I focus? The entire world! And she didn't pull! Oh god! She, he just fucking ruined her hopes and dreams! Oh! Flashbacks all the way from Tekken 1, which looked terrible. Mishima style ultimate technique. Fuck. That was hard, but yeah, as soon as I focus, I can actually do stuff. Yo, what are you doing with uh, Yoshi and Eddie, buddy? Nice skinny pigs. Oh, God. Sorry, Lydia, he gained a new power. I will put Kazuya back in his place. I think June's already taken care of that, buddy. You just missed it. Once the blood awakens, everything will fall into place. I thought they lost their powers, though. What do you know that we don't, Heihachi? That, co that couldn't have been it. That could not have been it. So does he not know about Reina yet? Let's have a look at this then. If that's it, I may as well just upload this whole thing. But, classified archives have been unlocked. 15 new pieces of information added to episode Unforgotten Echoes. What? But that was definitely, definitely it. So yeah, others, this is sort of like the timeline. Tekken 4, how I missed you. Oh, oh, oh there's, there's more for each one. So yeah, the, the Mishima clan, the Mishima Zaibatsu. During the Industrial Revolution. Oh, Mishima. Oh. So this is actually the lore. You want to figure out everything about Tekken? It's finally going to tell you. Yeah. After defeating his father, Jinpachi, he placed more importance on martial strength and social power status. Status. Okay. King of Iron Fist 1. And then... June's Journal... Felt suffocated on the island. Decided to move to Tokyo to study university. I had, a father that my, I had a dream that my father, who I had not seen in some while, came and bid me farewell. Okay, so this explaining June's law. Sorry, I'm not going to read it all. And then yeah, Kazia. 
Man was the same as me, misunderstood because of our powers and forced to endure a life of loneliness because of it. A strange figure bearing Kazuya's resemblance appeared before me. This was devil. Okay. I was overpowered, protecting the life inside me as so I prayed for some kind of miracle. I began to feel a strange sensation course through me. A brilliant bright light. So this is where... Okay, so... Angel. Jin. Compassion. Oh, whoops. I didn't mean to leave that. Thank you for the rewards. I didn't mean to leave that. I wanted to keep looking. I'm, I'll quickly look through this, but... Oh, the Hachi Joes. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Okay. So then... Ogre. That was during three. Okay. Wait, what? After being resurrected, it went on a hunt for even stronger fighters to beat, which led to it ambushing Jin at Yakushima. Jin, who was with Jin, was able to draw upon the power of the Kazuma Sanctum to escape. It subsequently assumed control of Nina Williams? When was that a thing? Who had been in cryosleep and joined the third King of Iron Fist tournament as her... As her four years later? When did Ogre take control of Nina Williams? Was that ever a thing? Okay. Yeah, then second four and G Corp. So that's how G Corp came to be. And they were against Mishima Zaibatsu, but they also helped Kazuya come back to life. Five, six, seven. Hachigo clan, millennia ago, Safina's ancestors, charged with the protection of an ancient imperial tomb, sealed away the demon Azazel. Right. Kazumi was killed by her husband, yeah. Heihachi slaughtered every last member of the Hachigo household, save for one. Though the Hachigo name would be lost to time, there was yet a baby girl whom Heihachi permitted to live. Ladies and gentlemen, that has to be Reina. The devil's blood spilled from one generation over to the next, carrying with it its sacred power dating back to antiquity that was both feared and revered. Understanding the threat it posed to the world, the Hachijo clan carefully controlled history from the shadows, erasing any trace of the power's existence from centuries on end. Yeah, in his wrath at having been forced to kill his own wife, Heihachi slaughtered every last member of the Hachijo household save for one. Though the Hachijo name would be lost to time, there was yet a baby girl whom Heihachi permitted to live. So that has to be it. Reina is not actually a Mishima. She's a Hachijo. And she's not really Heihachi's... I mean... No. When did <laughs> when did Heihachi throw Kazuya off the cliff? Because Kazuya was a boy, a little baby boy, when he threw when, when he killed Kazumi. Because when he was a boy, he said, "Oh, you killed my mother." That was at the very start of Tekken Seven. So this so this was just in the aftermath of killing the Hachijo clan, or maybe. He threw Kazuya off the cliff and then killed the, like went out afterwards because he was like, I, I killed my wife. My son hates me. Throw him off a cliff. And then he's just like, all right, 
Now that that's done, I'm gonna go kill all the Hutch Joes, except this baby. For some reason. And that baby, whose age is very indistinguishable because she calls Jin Senpai. Is she, she, she's in between Kazuya and Jin's age then. It doesn't make sense. None of this makes sense. Well, it makes sense, but the logic is not there. Okay, so she's a Hachijo. But Heihachi must have raised her, raised her in the behind the scenes. I am, I'm more willing to accept that because the Hachijos had the devil blood. But then Kazumi said, we exist to, to destroy evil like you, even though they're the ultimate evil. So everyone is just pointing fingers at each other going, no, you're evil. No, you're evil. And yeah. Okay. Then Operation Lightning. Emma's journal. This is Emma Cleason. Yeah. Former. Yeah. Okay. Positive human experimentation drinks and meets you my side, but see how dangerous this devil power is. Emma Cleason helped revive Kazia. Wow. Is that why? Well, is this actually? Is that what? Because that, uh, that picture. That's where that's from. I asked Kazuya to speak about what he desired. When he did, his cells suddenly started dancing, their activity spiking as it had never done before. Yeah, this is all from Tekken 4 and 5. So Emma Cleason died because of Kazuya? I, f I know she died because of... I th maybe that was always a thing, yeah. Yeah, Kazuya managed to escape thanks to his devil transformation, and he is now exacting revenge on G-Corp's executives. I feared that I too will be caught and killed in some sort of unfortunate accident. And to my dearest Leo, I'm sorry I let my research take priority over you. I'm thankful that you have you have become so much like your father. Loyal, true, and full of spirit. A serpentipitous reunion. After receiving a message with instructions to infiltrate G-Corp's Institute for the Study of Prehistoric Civilizations, Leo set off in search of the truth. Let's watch this then. From tag an, an dem mein Vater verstarb, habe ich mich dem Schutz meiner Mutter verpflichtet. Aber dann vor einem Jahr, als ich als Forscher bei der G-Corporation tätig war, wurde meine Mutter getötet und ihr yeah. Tod als Unfall verschleiert. What on Kasia, you dick? Nun gab es niemanden mehr, den ich beschützen konnte. Als es mir richtig schlecht ging, bekam ich plötzlich eine E-Mail. Wenn du wissen willst, was wirklich passiert ist, musst du meine Daten aus dem Labor der G-Corporation stehlen. Scheinbar kam die E-Mail von Emma Cleason. Meine Mutter hatte diese E-Mail aufgesetzt. Am I wrong or did Emma Cleason also work on Steve Fox? I thought that was also a thing. I might be wrong though. Was hatte ich schon zu verlieren? Ohne zu zögern brach ich also in das Labor ein. Und dann Three D. Yeah, let's go, baby. Okay, capture the intruder. Kommt nicht in Frage. What's up, buddy? Now that you get in here. Nein, das kann nicht sein. Papa? Was? Hab ich etwas im Gesicht? Du Spinner! Yeah, your dad never died. Papa, du bist es wirklich. Ja, ich bin es. Dein Vater Niklas. Yes, I am truly my full name. Lebt. Du warst am Leben und hast uns die ganze Zeit über nicht Bescheid gesagt? Es tut mir so leid. 
such interesting and weird point to make Leo and the Cleasons really important in eight. It's a bit, a bit of a strange choice, but you know, it's not too bad. They use fucking Windows XP. Did you get the data? I didn't. You got the data. I'm assuming. Kazuma clan. Yeah, they lived in. They lived in Yakushima. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remark. Wait. So it's all Safina's roots because she's got the one with the ancient ancestors. Um. Possess remarkable spiritual abilities and the sacred power that flows through their veins. The Cosmo Sanctum. Other Cosmos have spread elsewhere, such as Asuka Kazama and her father, distant relatives of Jin, who operated Dojo that. Yeah, 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 but Asuka's been fucking useless. She hasn't done anything. For my beloved son, having awakened in Cosmo Sanctum. Jun sensed that Jin is in grave danger. To save her son, Jin borrowed power from the Sanctum and sent out a small white bird made of light to enter Jin's mind. So this is how Jun is still alive? Or is she a spirit? I don't think that was ever confirmed or denied. Let's have a look. Oh, is this just the scene we saw when Jin, like, it's in the story mode? Yeah, it is. Oh, no, there's more. There is more. Good. So this is her in the Kazuma Sanctum. I feel like you are just a spirit then. Angel Jin. <laughs> My god, he's... <laughs> it looks so dumb. Are you alive? She has to be. She showed up after Kazuya... When Kazuya was fucking dead on the floor, she showed up. The second monks. And the Star Crusher trial. And I think that's all. I was wondering okay, why the thing is all the way over there, but I, I guess it kind of makes sense. Okay, so this is the the lore. The lore dump, basically. If you want to know everything about the Tekken franchise's lore, which I heavily criticized at the very start of this, um, they've tried to bring it all back together in 7 and 8. I feel like the see something like ah, oh, there's also this old clan of ancient monks that exist here as well, and then they get wiped out in, in, in entirely in the same game where they finally referenced. I, it's just very silly, but I'm willing to live with it. Okay. Okay. So that's. That's it, then. I am... I'm content. I feel like content is the word. 
Why not? I am content with the way that all turned out. I... <laughs> that, okay, just... Just need to make sure... I'm sorry, I've stopped hitting that. I need to make sure I need to... Uh, a few things are clear in my head. June is... Alive? Her spirit was just in... The Kazuma Sanctum in Yakushima. I guess... Because she shows up at the end of Tekken 8. And during the end of Tekken 8, I believe both Kazuya and Jin lost their devil powers? Or did they just... lose? I feel like they lost the devil powers because Jin became Angel Jin, and Kazuya didn't have the glowing red eye, and June showed up after her wish there of to let neither be harmed. And it just so happens at the same time as that is all occurring, Hey, Hachi, who survived because six months prior, a monk caught him out of the volcano um, and helped him achieve the ultimate Mishima style from a meteorite. He, by headbutting the meteorite, recovered his memories and is once again evil with a new ultimate power. But not only that, then we have Reyna right here, who thinks she's a Mishima. But what most likely happened is that when Heihachi wiped out the Hachijo clan because of the fact that he had to kill his wife because she was a devil, he spared Reyna. And I want to say raised Reyna? I want to say it. It's probably what happened. So, like Li Chao Lam, she's an adopted daughter. But she's actually Reyna Hachijo. But the Hachijo name's gone. So, hey Hachi, this Melogonigal, oh, that's not the word. Megalomaniac motherfucker literally <laughs> killed his father. Um, no, no, sealed his father underground. That's what he did. He sealed his father underground. Who he also didn't have devil powers, but he had a dark power that was later destroyed. Doesn't matter. Yeah, he literally sealed his father underground to take over his father's company. Um, he led his own dojo, he had a, he was originally, like, not as much of a dick, but he was still a dick, he sealed his father on the ground. He had a kid with Kazumi, Kazumi turned out to have devil powers, and he's like, oh fuck, I gotta wipe out the devil powers now. So then he wipes out the devil powers by thinking he kills his son, and thinking he kills his wife. But then, when killing his wife's clan, he keeps this little girl because he maybe he feels bad or something. It's like I'll raise this baby, but that also goes in direct conflict with everything he's established before about like I fucking hate the devil gene, but this baby I will spare, whatever. So he takes that baby and then not only like. What did he have Kazuya who grew up to be like five? He also adopted Li Chao Lam to be a rival of Kazuya. Then he fucking tried to kill Kazuya. So now he's got baby Li and baby Reyna. I guess maybe 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 Li and Reyna like grow up as siblings almost. And maybe that's why Li adopted the persona of Violet, because her whole thing is being purple. That's that's a shithead cannon, but there you go. And at one point, Heihachi also fucked another woman to have Lars to make sure that he didn't have the devil blood. It, no, it's definitely not me. It's definitely it's just Kazumi. Just gotta make sure. Um, but then Kazuya survived, obviously. So he has technically two kids and two adopted kids. 
Then Kazuya went on to have Jin. And the Devil Blood appears to be cleansed from everyone now. Bar Reina, who unlocked her Devil Gene finally at the end of Tekken 8. I think that's how it goes. Correct me if I'm wrong. Please. But I believe that's how it goes. It's very silly and very convoluted. But it's just the way it be. There you go. That was the Tekken 8 DLC. Un I got a burp. Pardon me. That was the Tekken 8 DLC Unforgotten Echoes. It was very stupid, but very fun. And what they did reveal, I am content with. It's just a whole lot of convoluted bullshit to... It, it does explain parts. That one snippet note of the fact that Reyna is most li likely just a Hachijo, I'm okay with that. I, I'm just going forward with that as canon if they retcon that later i'm gonna be annoyed but the series has retconned stuff before but i believe that's that's everything i'm hoping they do do another dlc because this is just season one like of the dlcs like the fact that they said there's gonna be four characters then they released three and had dlc for those three makes me think number four is gonna be a guest so if they do like a season two, three, and four, maybe they'll do story DLCs for those as well. Maybe not, but there's always the possibility. And I would be intrigued to see more because God knows how long it'll be before Tekken 9 comes out. I'll be waiting. I'll be like 40. <laughs> that would not be good. Um... Yeah, okay, I think that's all I got to say. Thank you all very much for watching. I'll catch you guys next time. I'll end this video at the end of the song. Fade out.